So, uh, anyways, I am making electricity. That's a good thing. Because there's not much sun out here right now. Those arrays, uh, electrical panels I was talking about, they're uh, putting out right now oh, about uh, 9 amps a piece uh, at the moment. Uh, so uh, I'm bringing in about 18 amps right now uh, at 24 volts uh, into my uh, 24 volt battery bank. And uh, that's through, uh, we're getting a little bit of, a uh, little bit of sunshine there. Uh, peeking, peeking through the hazy clouds right at the moment. So uh, it's getting colder and it's getting clearer and... Uh, and uh, so the sun uh, is going to make more solar and uh, and along uh, and it's a good thing because we had no sun yesterday it was just we were just socked in with fog all day long and uh, thank goodness the wind came up and uh, it uh, it came up last night about 11 after 11 o'clock and it uh, it blew hard all night which is great because my batteries are all nice and charged up uh, this morning and uh, it don't matter if there's clouds or not uh, because um, even with clouds the panels are still making a little bit of power but uh, let's have a look here uh, we'll, we'll knock off these watts here we'll go over here to the left and give it a click and um, okay there's our, our current so uh, the windmill has been pumping up to 50 amps or so, 50 something amps at 12 volts. And uh, as you can see, it's up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, that's, uh, that's the problem with uh, wind because, uh, you know, it's, it's not a straight line across, you know what I mean, like solar would be. Uh, well, even solar isn't really straight across, but uh, it's uh, it's up and down, up and down, up and down, and it seems to be more more down than up. So the only way you can really tell what's going on is with this blue line here. This is our this is our watt hours line, okay? And uh, it it just tells us our watt hours and uh, and basically you can see the rate at which it's climbing. Now, uh, let's see, I turned this on at, uh, what does that say, 9, okay, uh, 18, 11, okay, yeah, so anyways, the, the watt hours, that's been going since, uh, um, since midnight, and, uh, there's the watt hours I've been producing since midnight. Just climbing steady, steady, steady. And that gives you a better idea than uh, of, of, of what you're actually making compared to looking at this, uh, this amp uh, uh, chart here. And, um, and the other thing is, is your volts here. I'll, I'll remove the amps here. There we go. And now... Now we just have our voltage here, and see it's uh, it's uh, every time we get a blast of wind or whatever, um, our volts actually exceed uh, 15. And let's take away our uh, watt hours. Okay, boom. There's our voltage now. See where it's 15.5 at the top of the scale, so it's like about 15.6 at a peak. Okay, so. My windmills actually that that right there tells me that I need to adjust uh, adjust my windmills because they should be they should be uh, uh, they should be shutting down at roughly fourteen point seven, which is roughly about here. So okay, so that tells me, yeah, they're uh, they're going a little you know doing a little bit too much on the high end. So that means if I bring them down to 14.7, I'll get more at the bottom end when the wind isn't as hard, which will make my, uh, which will bring up my efficiency of, of the wind system. Period. Um, okay, that's uh, that's good to know. 
that's why it's good to have a monitoring system. You you, you need something to show you what what's going on with your system, so you can make an make the adjustments. Because uh, let's face it, when you're off the grid, you're on your own, and uh, you know you're the uh, you're the boss. You're the you you know you take the good with the bad, and uh, and it's only gonna uh, it's only gonna perform as well as you uh, you know uh, as the effort you put into it. And uh, by this little monitor here, this Watts View monitor. This is a really cheap investment for a, a mo for the sophistication you get out of the monitoring system. Like I like I didn't pay uh, I didn't pay two hundred dollars for this. It's uh, it's cheap uh, and uh, and I got the whole uh, the whole kit uh, for that and uh, and uh, that includes uh, the adapter to power it up the 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 circuit board itself the. Um, uh, the USB uh, uh, adapter, um, and let's see the uh, um, well, yeah, everything that came with it, and oh yeah, the serial cord. Um, anyways, uh, uh, I mean for like uh, for under two hundred dollars, uh, it's a real it's a real steal because I was at Future Shop the other day and uh, and picked up a Belkin. Uh, USB adapter and uh, that was $67 just by itself so you go out and buy these pieces uh, by themselves and uh, you know that thing is going to become real seriously expensive whereas you get the whole kit for real cheap and uh, and uh, the real good thing about it is you're not uh, you're not uh, locked into a licensing agreement where you have to keep on paying you know, uh, annually. Um, that's one of the big pluses about this. And uh, anyways, enough about that. The uh, air axis is what we're really concerned with at the moment. And uh, and the voltages on them. See this one? Another little blast of wind. We peaked over 15.6. Okay, so that tells me what I need to know. Let's go back and put some of these on. Let's go with our watt hours. Okay, there's our watt hours. Now those are going to be just climbing and climbing and climbing, I guess, all day as long as the wind is howling. We'll put on our amps. Thank you for watching the Bubbly Tube Bob channel. I'm your host, Rob. See you next time.